one of New York's smallest parks. It starts right here. And we're gonna walk. We're entering the park right now. Walking through the park. Walking through the park. Walking through the park. And we're done. And we're in Chinatown. Let's get lost and try to find some cool stuff in this episode. continuously do this. I know why I'm doing it for you. So as I like elbow and bump my way through, we're gonna dig deeper. Cause I think we could do better. Here we go. Chinatown has an intake of just about anything. You got stores that sell uh, food. You have chains, gold chains, cologne, clothing, anything that you want, you could find it in Chinatown. Nothing but side stores everywhere selling God knows what is coming through. Kid almost smacked me in the face. This is crazy. We're making our way down to downtown Chinatown. We're gonna see what goodies we can find in there because they have a lot of great deals. So we'll see. still mystical about Chinatown. When you walk through its streets, it's really, really hypnotic when you watch everything. It looks like something out of a movie. What we're trying to get to now is a place called Bloody Angle. Uh, the place used to be used by the mob to trap cars in there because the angle was just so lean. Cars couldn't make it through and they had to stop. And that's when mobsters would surround the car and just shoot it with bullets. It's a pretty happy place. otherwise known as the bloody angle. It's gonna show you how small this street really is. So yeah, it's small, it's very narrow. And as I said before, when criminals or gang members of other gang members would come around this corner, they would have to stop real slow, make a turn around there, and then that's when the other gangsters would just jump them, shoot them, shoot the car up, and there was blood littered in the streets that wouldn't get cleaned up for some time, which is why I got the nickname, The Bloody Angle. Chopstick shop. That was the world's biggest collection of chopsticks. There's a Buddhist temple. No pictures or video allowed inside, but you could go in, make a wish, pray, have your fortune told. Who knows what lies in there for you? <laughs> Stumble onto something. You can't have a proper video or talk about Ghostbusters without this right there behind me. There you go.
So this is Cortland Alley. All of this stuff right here. This this is filmed. This this place right here is like film heaven. Okay, they film stuff like Men in Black 3, Crocodile Dundee was filmed in this alley. TV shows like Gotham is still filmed in this alley. This is where Bruce Wayne's parents, I guess, got blasted. Music videos, anything really, man. It gets filmed right here in this alley, which is crazy. And I think someone's trying to pass, I don't know. I don't wanna get hit by another car. What I'm gonna try to do is come back here at night. I'm gonna first check to see if it's safe. And I just wanna film what it looks like at night. So before I leave, there is also a small, very, very small, tiny museum that is hidden in Cortland Alley. You can miss it. It's only open Saturdays and Sundays. It's right there. Unfortunately, today is Wednesday, but I'm gonna have a peek in because you could actually go in there. Well, not go in, but you could look through the window and see what's up. This quite possibly is the smallest museum in the world. And it's built inside of a freight elevator. <laughs> All the items that you see here have a number under them where you could take a pamphlet to your left and read about the number in question. And the best part, it's free. You could just walk right in. you gotta visit right here it's the cheapest fried dumplings you can ever have look at that inside that is about two dollars worth i got four dollars place over there right now is tings tings uh tings uh I think one of the original places that sells trinkets and oriental garments. In 1958, they were raided as part of a drug crackdown and they found 10 pounds of heroin inside that place. We're gonna try and go in there and see what old stuff they still have, old Chinese stuff. video because I had to go home and get another shirt because it's kind of cold out and I want to go back to Cortland Alley in Chinatown 
film it at night. So we're going back there now. Going back there now. Going back there now. Again, but this time we're here at night and this shit is like really creepy at night dude it's, it's totally like a daredevil kind of scene at nighttime and so I just said you know what since I don't know about the places that open at night let me just take you by the places I took you in the day during the night to see what they look like wow that's really damn bright <laughs> so we're gonna do that we're gonna visit the places at night which you saw on the A side this is the B side the black album Bloody angle from another angle. It looks absolutely terrifying. But as long as there's people here, I'm gonna be here. Okay. <laughs> these places I took you to may be easy to see because you're watching them on video but they're not they're kind of hard to get to you got to search for them which is why this title is called the secrets of Chinatown but doesn't that make it all the more worthwhile when you do find them so if you come to New York and you go to Chinatown happy hunting <laughs> 